predicting the weather is a hit or miss situation. We have a full list of cancellation and delays on KVIA.com, so be sure to check it out. Reporting live in Central El Paso, Pilar Arias, ABC7. B-17s used to house 10 airmen back in the 1940s. One of them will be crouched in the fetal position down here for up to 8 to 12 hours. Joining me now is Commissioner David Stout, who was present during the meeting and when the vote came down. Commissioner Stout, can you tell me how have you been involved in this process? So what should you and your kids do if you can't resist the urge to splurge? For one, don't pair pizza with a sugary carbonated drink. There's whole wheat and gluten-free options. You can also always dab the pizza with a napkin or towel to get excess grease off and load it with veggies instead of all that meat. The bullet holes remain in this building at the site where six people were injured just before one this morning. Today we're riding Sun Metro's new Brio. I'm Pilar Arias. Tune in for all the details next. It is this dark and desolate dirt plot behind me that you see that city engineering leaders are planning to change soon. Here's the full list of the 10 organizations whose representatives got to pose around the great Christmas Light Fight Champion Trophy. Some of the more familiar ones are the Wounded Warriors Program, YMCA of El Paso, and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. A local boy has his eyes set on the record books. Brandon Bailey Johnson hopes to become the youngest professional music producer. ABC 7's Iris Lopez sat down with Brandon and his mother today. She has more on that story. Good evening, Rick. Trujillo was working on a park truck here at Providence Hospital Monday night when he got underneath it and the vehicle began to move. He suffered severe head injuries and later died. Tonight, a friend told me that Trujillo was here for a doctor's appointment regarding his son who was having asthma complications. In honor of Coach Trujillo, stand up. One, two, three, Tommy! He would motivate them and he would make sure they reached their full potential. He was uh, very uh, loved and respected by, by all the kids. They, they really did admire him. And it's a tragic loss, um, definitely to his family and to the Horizon Dominator family as well. A group of 5 to 13 year old boys are missing their football coach this spring. 31-year-old Jose Trujillo was run over by a Ford F-250 he was working on in the Providence parking lot earlier this week. His fellow coaches say he left behind a wife, young daughter, and son. Now they've opened a GoFundMe account to raise funds to help for funeral expenses. Hit us, you know, really close to home. Um, not only because he, he was, you know, part of our family here, but I also have kids his same age, uh, helping coach them as well, you know, wife as well. So, kind of just reflecting and putting myself in his shoes, you know, it's just uh, unbelievable what they're going through. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. But at least the Horizon Dominators have each other during this difficult time, and are looking forward to when Trujillo's son returns to play with his teammates. I have all the information for Trujillo services. They'll be posted online shortly after this newscast, as well as the GoFundMe link. But for now, reporting live at Providence Hospital, Pilar Arias, ABC7. Pilar. Estella and Rick, many of our viewers will simply check the yes box when asked if they had health coverage all of 2014. But if you received subsidies for Obamacare or if you didn't have insurance at all, this story is for you. I didn't even know, to be honest, but I, I think some of them are good. I mean, getting exemptions is a good thing for people that need it. Armando Rodriguez doesn't know that not everyone who didn't have health insurance in 2014 will have to pay a tax penalty. I think what's stuck in everybody's head is, oh, it's just $95. But $95 is the beginning of the story. That's for an individual. It can be as much as $285 for a family, and that's the lower limit. So. It is the greater of that amount or 1% of a modified adjusted gross income amount. It's a fairly complex calculation. Due to the Affordable Care Act, more people may be looking for help filing their taxes this year. Whether you had private insurance or were signed up through the health insurance marketplace, the IRS will ask if you were covered. Turns out there's a list of more than 23 exemptions, so those filing their taxes won't have to pay the $95 per adult or 1% of their income, whichever is greater this year. Some include hardships, such as experiencing the death of a close family member, going through loss due to a fire, 
or having expenses due to caring for an ill, disabled, or aging family member. We kind of have a negative outlook when we're required to do something by law, um, but you know when there's little items that can get you through without having to maybe meet that mark this year, but maybe next year it, it helps a little bit. Another thing to keep in mind, those who received lower Obamacare monthly rates due to projected income may have to pay some of that back due to actual income earned in 2014. The tax deadline for this year is April 15th. I have a list of exemptions as well as some helpful links on KVIA.com. Back to you. The continued push to dump his aeroscaping and restore the cemetery's grass. Fort Bliss National Cemetery used to look like this. Patches of grass and yes, even sunken graves. At least that's what cemetery director Amy Callahan says. And all of these people here, all of these dead people, are my brothers and sisters. El Paso City Council is now joining the grassroots effort to bring green back to the National Cemetery. Council members will vote Tuesday on whether to draw up a proposal urging the National Cemetery Administration to replace the xeriscaping at Fort Bliss National Cemetery with grass and sod. For District 2 City Rep Larry Romero, the fight is close to his heart because his mom is buried here. It'll be 23 years since she passed away. So for me, it's more a personal issue. I think uh, I'd like to be, when I come out here, I have to stand out here. And Many people I spoke with here at the cemetery says they miss some sort of green instead of all this gravel. That way they can have a place to kneel or sit when they visit a loved one. Representative Romero is hoping Congressman Beto O'Rourke scores a home run when he goes up to bat for Fort Bliss National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. With a resolution, he expects city council to approve unanimously. Why not use uh, purple water like Fort Bliss does for their golf courses? They got two golf courses filled with beautiful grass and trees. Well, why not do the same thing here? And for veterans like Frank Winslet, seeing the same beautiful landscaping from the front of the cemetery all around would mean a world of difference. Pilar Arias, ABC7.